So looking at the uh, module, at least two of the three modules, uh, ballasting and track laying complete. Started some uh, scenery, scenery work and the first uh, structure, the art tower, in place. We'll just follow the switcher. Another tower. And it will spur. The rear. Add some bridge components, steel sides. There's a road there. And the iron tower was borrowed from Rhineland. Uh, any structures above one story, I will uh, will be removable from the modules to avoid uh, damaging them. Um, so this, uh, so the iron tower will be will be removable, and when this is not in use, it can go back as the iron tower for uh, the Venlo yard. And here it's the yard tower for what is tentatively named the Van Loyen the Van Loyen yard. Parking spots for staff. Also at the other end. And uh, at the rear were all the uh, <clears throat> all the can canisters are. I think that'll eventually become a row of houses with a backdrop to a semi-industrial scene. And at the rear there are the two spurs going off to what will be a cold stores and a general general warehousing activity on the other side of the main line. <clears throat> yeah, wiring. One of the less fun jobs of model railroading. Uh, in this case it was mounting six here, there, one, two, three, six underneath mounted uh, point motors to operate the switches those grey boxes and they'll be uh, hooking up to uh, one of the two panels this will be one uh, one panel <clears throat> and there'll be another panel for the uh, for the other other side uh, Probably many will say uh, it looks a bit of a mess, but it's deliberate. I'm a great believer in open wiring plan because in our hobby we're always changing things. And if you uh, start ferreting away wires into cable trays and all that sort of thing, and you want to change something, uh, that becomes a problem. We're not building uh, the Titanic or a building that's going to last for 50 years. And building something that should be changeable at a whim. So I don't believe in wiring and putting everything into cable trays and all that sort of thing. Uh, it just makes changing uh, uh, too much of an issue. So I'll just generally wire point to point and then clean it up a little bit later. And you can then follow every wire from every location to every other location uh, if there's an issue. But 
it's out of uh, view anyway, so who cares? <laughs> At least that's my opinion on wiring. There you go. Okay, another mile uh, milestone achieved. Uh, I think I've got wiring for all three modules now pretty much set. Um, this is the middle module and in the middle module all the turnouts are located in the middle module and that was delivered by design so I didn't want the wires going between modules from uh, turnout to turnout. So all the turnouts are on this one module, the middle module and of course uh, to operate you'll need control panel so I'm building a control panel to the way I did it for the Rhineland uh, little frame to hold the uh, the panel panels are laminated sheet with uh, the major markings and I gotta find a place for it yet but with a 1 in 16 chance 4 wires etc I actually got everything right first time, so the two turnouts are operating and even operating in the right direction which is rather amazing, it's a 1 in 16 chance so position of the um, switch determines the, the turnout position, so the turnout now is headed on the side siding now it's headed now it's headed toward the uh, spurs and this is a selection spurs so Yeah, amazing that, that turned out okay in one shot. Okay, I'll just switch positions. So this is the uh, center module. This will be the side facing the public. Going to add uh, some more um, Velcro tape for the curtains. But uh, originally, I was thinking of having uh, panels. Set in picture on a uh, on some sort of um, um, hinge, but uh, painting them uh, black the same color as the side. I think if you just put them in like that with a couple of screws here, so it can be uh, taken apart for transport. I have. Uh, connectors, uh, modular connectors so the uh, wires can easily be uh, undone and there's a little connector for the earth so I'm actually thinking of having them uh, screwed in here when needed, screw them into the uh, into the side of the uh, module, it looks quite good I'm going to go finish off the panel with a bit of trim on the outside, clean it all up, fix it in place, screw it on like that. Should be good to go. Yeah, please. <laughs>